In systems like the Buchla, Hordike, and especially the Surge, everything you see on the front panel, all the writing, is only the tip of the iceberg. There's so much more under the hood in all these systems. And of course the Surge, the poster child for that is the dual universal slope generator. Uh, it can be an envelope generator, an LFO, an oscillator, a filter, and the list goes on. Uh, the filter, the variable Q filter, um, of course, is a filter with low bandpass notch and high pass filtering plus resonance, and it can self resonate and become an oscillator. But the one thing I didn't think it could be, and here's a big shout out to my friend, colleague, and patron, Adam Hulbert, who yesterday in a Skype session goes, I don't have any control voltage processor in my um, surge. Uh, is there something that can work like that? And so I immediately jumped to the dual universal slope generator and sort of MacGyvered a, a plausible voltage control processor, but it wasn't uh, what he was wanting. He just wanted an attenuator to tamp down a wide range of CV going into a module. So he goes, well, how about a filter? And frankly, I'd never thought of that. So we explored that. And here's that exploration. Enjoy. So we explored using a filter as an attenuator. And I always like to do attenuators um, with uh, uh, pitch so we can hear what the control voltage is doing. So I've set up a triangle, low frequency triangle cycling wave out of the dual universal slope generator. It's going to go into this pitch triangle wave of the Dixie and we hear its effects. So if we take that out and go into the in of the variable Q and then come out of the low pass of the variable Q and if we set uh, the knobs, the gain all the way to the top and these others at their zero points, we basically, we basically have a pass through. And as we turn down the gain, uh, it begins to attenuate. Until there's, of course, no voltage. So, let's see what the notch does. It's basically inverting it. Uh, high pass filter. And band pass. So, in the low pass, it's just like an attenuator, but in the other modes, we get some really interesting shaped control voltages. So it's a control voltage processor, uh, like none other. So let me just take you through a bunch of different um, ways of approaching this and all the strange sounds we can get out of it. Okay. Woo! <laughs> 
Okay, there you go. Thank you, Adam. Great question and a great solution that you came up with.